Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for October 14th to the 20th. We're going to get right into your reading. So we are going to start with your incoming energies. Once we get the incoming energies then I will get your tarot cards to further further explain what's kind of happening with those energies. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. And of course, if it does resonate, please leave comments. Let me know uh, that it is resonating. And uh, I love that you share, I love that you share your stories with me. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Now we do have an impactful week. We've got that full moon on the 17th of October in the sign Aries. So it's going to be a very passionate time to be closing out certain chapters in our life. I think a lot of us are on a mission to certainly put some closure to things in our life because we're all ready to embark on something new. Incoming energies, spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. What are the incoming energies for this beautiful sign? What would you like to share? There we go. All right, beautiful. So we will talk about these after, but you've got courage and you've got joyous fun. Yeah, I feel like some of you are really taking a leap of faith. You're finding your courage. You're finding your strength to embark on a new path that's going to bring some more fun into your life. I think that you've maybe been a little too serious lately. All right, let's go back three and find out what's going on here. I think that a lot of you have been going through a, a time where, where things have been a little bit challenging for you. Victim mentality new supportive connections, and a loss. So again, I think a lot of you have been feeling a sense of emotional loss. Some of you could be, a loss could definitely be a job. It could be a relationship. Loss is going to be different to each of you. These, of course, are your current energies and the energy you're bringing into this reading. And I think that this is why you've got courage. I think you've been going through, I think you've been really hard on yourself with this victim mentality. You know, you really are trying to source out, um, I think you've been trying to figure out ways to, to release yourself from something that's been emotionally draining to you. And I think that's why you've been feeling a great sense of loss. Maybe you haven't been able to really put your finger on it. It's just, just the way that you've been feeling. Uh, but I do believe that there are new supportive connections that are around you. And I think that these people are the ones that are helping you uh, you know, feel um, better about your situation. I think they're also there to give you the support that you need emotionally physically, spiritually, um, so that you don't feel like, a, a, like, the, that, like there's this great loss. What I want you to see in this card, because nobody likes to see cards that say loss, right? First of all, the water is not deep, right? You, you are only tied up by a rope. Very easy to cut that rope. You are looking at this sail, this ship with red, so you're empowered for some change. And look at the sun. The sun is starting to illuminate. It means that this loss is something that you could be feeling internally, but it is not something that is going to be long lasting. You are going to figure out how to release yourself from that energy. And courage is what it takes. And that's why this is your incoming energy. You have a protection around you. And I think it's a spiritual prote protection, but also you have new supportive connections as well. Now, whether those are people here on the earthly plane or whether they are in, your, in the spiritual realm, they could be your ancestors that have passed on and they're saying, listen, yes, you've been suffering some losses in your life, but you have the courage because sometimes we have to lose something to gain something. And I know that sounds silly and I'm sorry if it sounds silly, but I, I mean, I know only because I'm Sagittarius and I've, I've felt this in my life as well, but I sometimes feel like, you know, yeah, I don't understand why that loss happened, but then I see this light and I see this new door open and I think to myself, okay, I'm trying to find, I'm really trying to figure out, you know, sometimes things really do make sense, you know, and maybe I had to give up something here, but it's opening up something better for me here. And it's my way of trying to really keep my positivity alive here. So uh, courage is, again, I think that, you know, you are very courageous, Sagittarius. I believe that you have a lot of strength about you. And I believe that you really are trying to embark on a new path. And, you know, you've had, and, and you really have had many losses in your life and you are building it's what's building your strength of character and building who you are. 
and and I believe that you have more courage this week than ever before and because of that courage and because of that light that path being lit up for you um, you are now able to um, cut those losses out of your life accept the new supportive connections so there could be a friendship maybe a friendship or some sort of relationship of some sort maybe you lost but there's a new supportive connection around you that's bringing more fun into your life all right so we are going to start experiencing something that's bringing some joy let's get your nine cards so we're going to do the nine cards we're going to read all of them and then i'm going to clarify each of them so we're going to start with the first row so spirit angels and guides for the beautiful sign sagittarius the first row thank you beautiful energy celebrations here and look at that new adventures coming for you a new path is opening up these two go together all right your fear of not being happy is going to really start i i think you are you fear okay let me read them <laughs> the four of wands here okay so we've got the four of wands we'll get into that in a minute so celebrations we've got zero the fool energy the beginning of the fool's journey it's the courage that you have to start something new in your life you're taking a leap of faith so that you can bring more fun into your life uh, the moon card number 18 can be your fears and and uh, your fears and your um, uh, the fear of the unknown sometimes you know or insecurities it's also your intuition and then of course the ten of cups all about happiness let's get the second row let's find out what the second row is for you Sagittarius spirit angels guides for this beautiful sign those two go together that one goes in the middle and then one more for the end here. Thank you, Spirit Angels Guides. Excellent. Got two fours together. Oh my gosh, look at, look what you have here. Four, four, four. That is definitely a synchronicity that you want to keep in mind. It is definitely a message for you. Okay, so we've got four of swords, four of coins. In the middle of your reading, we have the three of wands, and then we have the three of cups. Look at that. A lot of synchronicities here. Let's get your last row and then let's start talking about all of these messages. Spirit Angels Guides. All right. Anything else you'd like to share? Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign. Thank you. Another three. You got three threes and... All right. All right, here we go. Let's start with the Four of Wands in the corner here. Left-hand side, we've got Four of Wands. It is a celebration. It's your 11-11. It's the gateways opening towards your transformations. Things are transforming in your life. We can see the four butterflies here. Uh, you know, the four butterflies are really helping you to discover something new. And I believe it's the courage that you have to embark on this new path. Um, again, this can be a marriage card. It can be a relationship card. Uh, it can have to do with relationships in your life, but it is all about stability as well because fours are about stability. And I think you are trying to, to figure out uh, how to create more stability and a stronger foundation in your life. But lots to celebrate here. You're celebrating something because you're celebrating this new journey that you're embarking on and you are taking a leap of faith with this. Not always easy to do. It does take courage to be able to start something brand new in your life. So you could be venturing into some sort of new career. Could be after a loss of something. You could be starting in a new relationship after the loss of something. Again, it's going to be different for each of you. But the, the full energy really is a new sense of joy and excitement in your life because you're ready to venture into something new. This is why you have that joyous fun. You are beginning, you are in the beginning stages of something that's just starting to grow. Now you also got the number 18, the moon, cancer energy, and the 10 of cups. These came out together. So again, your fears and your insecurities about having it all, having all the happiness and the joys and the fulfillment. I think we all fear it. I think we all fear that at some point because we want it so bad. I think intuitively, you know that you can have everything that you want and that you wish for. And I think that joy is all around you. I think you do have supportive connections around you. I think you do have a spiritual team that protects you. And I think you are ready to embark on something new in your life that's going to create a more solid foundation that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And I believe that intuitively you are really, really trusting in that process. 
And I think you are going to see that after all of this, you know, victim mentality, so seeing your situation, being a little hard on yourself, um, and any losses that you've been feeling, that 10 of cups is the happiness that you feel. It's the rainbow after all of that. So your happiness is starting to be restored. The second row here, we've got the four of swords and the four of coins. Now the four of swords is rest after, after, you know, something has happened. So again, this is the rest that you're feeling after that loss. The four of swords is also you, you could be, I, for some of you, I think that you really could do well by meditating or even just taking five min minutes out of your busy day to just take time for yourself, to breathe deeply, to concentrate, to think about the things that are important to you, to restore and um, embrace life on a new level. Um, giving yourself a time out every once in a while is going to help you really improve your energy levels as well. And for some of you, I think sleep is really important and, I, and to get a restful sleep uh, is going to be imperative for you because it's how you receive your messages. I think a lot of you intuitively receive messages through your sleep patterns. Uh, so very important as well, but get the rest that you need because you are now starting to heal and that's very important. The four of coins comes along with this. And the reason I think that you, you know, I think you hold tightly onto things that are important in your life. There are transformations that are taking place. You may need to release something. There could be something you need to release so that you can feel more peace in your life. Um, but again, you want whatever you're going to release, you have to sh make sure that you're still maintaining that sense of solid foundation with that four, because that is what brings you that peace. So it's figuring out what parts of your life you need to transform and what you need to release in order to bring that in. The center of your reading is the three of wands, which is all about expansion. I think you've been making many plans. You've been planning a lot of things. Um, you know, even though you suffer some losses in your life, you know, you still, you still move on by planning something new. You're ready for the next phase. This, the waters are calm here. The sun is starting to rise. Your ships are coming in and now the sun is guiding them your way. So you are ready for some expansion here and I think you are. I think there is a new beginning for you. Uh, definitely new beginnings here for you. You've been planting the seeds for them and now the expansion is starting to take place. Three of Cups is a celebration. So there is something to definitely be celebrating here. I think that you are breaking free from any patterns where you have been hard on yourself. I think you're accepting your loss with grace, whatever that is for you, you will know what that is, but you are celebrating something because again, there's new supportive connections around you that want to see you shine. They want to see happiness for you. So there could be an invitation or there could be some, some sort of celebration happening around you and uh, it's bringing you a lot of a joy and fulfillment. The seven of wands is uh, Leo energy. This is definitely fiery energy. And you know, you stand up for what you believe in, uh, no matter what uh, you kind of, whatever challenge you sort of get hit with, um, you stand your ground. You don't let people walk all over you. You do um, use tact when you speak. Um, you are sensitive to people's emotions. So I think you are very much an empath. I think you can be because you are very spiritually grounded. Um, but the seven of wands is you standing up for your beliefs, standing up for yourself, and you don't back down from challenges. So again, um, also too, you could be setting boundaries, setting certain boundaries so that you protect yourself um, from people that might be saying things that you know, you, you know, if people say things that are hurtful, you can't let it get to you. Um, you have to try and maintain that sense of strength, that sense of courage. Uh, because again, uh, you know, there's always going to be people around us that don't always uh, agree with the things that we're doing. Um, but we're not always asking them for their input either. But some people just feel like it's their right to do that. So make sure you're standing up for yourself and uh, set boundaries. If it need be, set those boundaries so that you don't feel like they are, um, you know, infiltrating you in any way. The Empress is a beautiful, beautiful, most abundant queen in all of the tarot deck, ruled by the sign Venus. So this could very much be Taurus or Libran energy. But the Empress is... Um, a loving motherly energy. She emu she just uh, is exuberant in her energy. You can see that it all has to do with the heart chakra. So a lot of love in this card. Uh, I think you are really loving what you're doing. I think you've been planting seeds for something to grow. And I think it's finally starting to grow for you in the way that you want. You're embarking on a whole new journey, but it's something you had planted seeds with and now you're ready to nurture it. You're not letting anything stand in your way. 
nor are you letting anybody get into your head and and try and change your way of thinking the five of swords uh, can be sort of people getting again it's a mental it's the mental suit it can be that victim mentality where you're being a little too hard on yourself i uh, don't uh, you have to be reminded that you have a lot of strength and you have a lot of valor. And again, there's, there is nothing that can hold you back from your great success. There is a lot of abundance that is surrounding you right now, but you have to stay in your courage and don't allow anybody or anything, any situation uh, infiltrate that. Um, set those uh, boundaries if need be so that you protect yourself against that type of feedback. All right. Sagittarius, let's get your cards to clarify. And we're going to start with the Four of Wands. So in the corner there, Four of Wands, what would you like to share with Sagittarius? And you got another five here. So the five, the five of Wands, it can be healthy competition. It can be a little bit of conflict. It's conflict that's, it's conflict with wands, not with swords. So, uh, you know, uh, it can be something that's very minor. Um, it could be your own internal conflict because you are trying to really break through this new gateway. You really are trying to set free and, and uh, allow transformations to take place in your life. The conflict could be that, again, with that five of swords going diagonally, there are people or things being said around you that are causing you some conflict. And, you know, you, uh, you are conflicted because, you know, you want these celebrations, you want this gateway to open, you're ready for the abundance, but there always seems to be sort of a conflict or some sort of challenge. Uh, and you don't want it to um, sway you in any way because, you know, you are ready for expansion here. You, uh, you can't let that stand in the way for sure. So let's find out with the full energy here this fool energy and we've got the eight of wands so this new beginning is coming quite pat it's coming to you quickly um, this is all about movement and it's positive movement forward with this eight of wands so you are definitely ready for a new adventure uh, you are passionate about this venture and I think that you're going to be receiving a lot of messages hence why you could be feeling a little bit conflicted because there's a multitude of messages that are coming in and it's so fast-paced that sometimes it's hard to keep up but these are positive movement forward, so please keep that in mind. Now with the Moon and the Ten of Cups, let's find out with the Moon and the Ten of Cups. Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. And we've got two, two cards here. Wow, you got, you got number four, the Emperor. You've got a lot of fours in your reading, so please be reminded of fours and threes. The nine, we're going to start with the nine of pentacles. She is very comparable to that empress. Uh, she holds six, uh, six pentacles on the one side and three. She always makes sure she has enough resources, but she still is generous enough knowing that she can help with the other three. Very independent and working towards her wealth. She is at a point where she does have a lot of abundance around her, and it's because of the hard work that she's put into something. She's very diligent. And I think that you are, I think that you work with your budgets. I think that you work with things around you. Um, I think that there are new opportunities that are flying in for you that are going to create some sort of new adventure for you that are going to lead you to this, uh, this amazing financial abundance, which is going to release any type of fears that you have for that, that happiness that you, uh, you know, the total happiness that you're looking for. Um, number four, the emperor, this is Aries energy, and we do have that Aries full moon on the 17th, and I think this is a, an indicator that um, you could have an Aries in your life, um, but uh, I also think that for some of you, you are really taking the lead in your life here. You are, you are very independent, and you are taking the lead to bring happiness into your life, and you're figure, you are figuring out what that takes. What is it that you need to do to expand things in your life. You're ready to stand your ground again because the emperor definitely is standing up not only for himself but also for the people that he, he cares for. It could be fatherly energy for some of you. So it could be for some of you there could be messages um, could have something to do with, with a, a parental figure or a boss of some sort. There could be some competition. Could be a boss that is maybe... Uh, for some of for some of you, I think that it could be a leader in your life or somebody in your life that's really pushing you, um, pushing you towards new opportunities. They're actually giving you. Uh, they might you might feel like they're conflicting with you, but they're actually pushing you with positive energy to really help you accomplish these these goals. And I believe that could be those new supportive connections as well. 
let's find out with the four of coins and the four of swords. You got the three of cups again. There's major celebrations. Look at three, 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 three again. Fours and threes are definitely your number. Keep that synchronicity in mind. Um, a celebration is definitely coming for you. You are releasing something and you're allowing transformations to, ha to, to come into your life. And these transformations are bringing about a, a big celebration. So there could be an invitation of some sort this week. You, you might be invited for, for something where you are celebrating and bringing all that joyous fun into your life. Uh, it bask in the moment. We don't always have these moments where we can enjoy life like that. So live life to the fullest in the moment. Then you can get back to the hard work that you need to do. Three of Wands in the middle of your reading. Three of Wands and the Three of Swords. Another three. See, that's that loss. See, you're ready to move. This is this loss here that you were feeling was something that broke your heart, but you are healing from it. You are definitely healing from it and you are expanding and you are moving forward from it. You are slowly but surely pulling out all of these swords that have pierced your heart and you are feeling a sense of celebration. So you're finally getting to that point where the healing is taking place. The Three of Cups. Let's find out what's happening with the Three of Cups. Another Three of Cups, more celebrations. Yeah, and this is with the Two of Cups. So there is a celebration here. For some of you, there definitely, if there was some sort of a loss with a relationship, there is a new kindred spirit, uh, kindred relationship, new supportive connections around you. Could be love, could be platonic, but again, there's a celebration of love here. Um, it comes after a, uh, some heartache, um, but that loss that you were feeling, you are on the mending and healing, healing end of that. Again, because you've got the four of swords here, and that is this card that comes after that three of swords. So you're healing from it, but you have to let go to allow some new emotions to, to come, uh, to come into play for you. Uh, there is definitely a new supportive connection around you that it's, it's to be celebrated. It could be an Aries. It absolutely could be Aries energy, but definitely somebody who's very independent and very driven. All right, let's find out with the seven of wands. You're standing your ground. See, so you're standing your ground and you're allowing the healing to take place. You're taking the lead in your life. So you also got number 18, the moon again. So again, your fears and your insecurities about letting go of something that has hurt you. Sometimes it's hard to let go, but if we want to expand in any ways in our life, we have to allow the healing process to, to happen and we have to forgive and we have to let go. Um, there could be, uh, there, you could be intuitively feeling a lot of messages around you right now. And with the moon energy, again, it could be, you know, again, there could be some fears and insecurities. Uh, and, you know, you don't always want to be in this mode of having to stand, you know, stand your ground. Uh, and, you know, it's not always your personality to do that. So, you know, you could be feeling that as a little bit of a challenge as well. Let's find out with the Empress. Let's find out with the Empress energy here. Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. You got the Eight of Cups. So you are definitely walking away. You are ready for a new emotional experience. Uh, and as painful it is, as it is to let go of something that you have lost, you are feeling motivated because there's positive affirmations coming through. There's positive reinforcement coming through that, that is encouraging you to embark on something new. Uh, but, but you have to allow the old emotions of something it's a situation a partnership it can be anything and it'll be different for each of you but you have to let those old emotions close their cycle out um, this is an eclipse moon this could have been uh this could be something that you've been experiencing back when we had that that solar eclipse on the 2nd of october so you could be feeling the effects of that now but by walking away and leaving something behind that maybe was a little bit too emotionally it was just kind of bombarding your emotions um, is going to open up new abundance for you because uh, when we walk uh, when we can walk away from something that has brought us disappointment it can open up new doors for us as well so i think there are some new doors definitely opening the five of swords let's find out what's happening with this five of swords i think there's things you're going to need to let go during this full moon so that you can heal and move on because there is joyous fun that is all around you yeah and you see 
Don't let anybody or anything hold you back from the opportunities that are being gifted and offered to you. I think that your fear of walking away from something that hurts you is what's holding you back. So you have to try and figure out how you have the courage to walk on this new path. The new path is lit up for you and the opportunity is waiting there for you. This is out with the old and in with the new. No more thinking of yourself in... in um, Stop putting so much pressure on yourself and stop thinking of yourself in any negative ways because that is that that old way of thinking is is coming out of your life. You're letting that go and you are ready to open up the possibilities of something new. So where there was a loss, there is also a new beginning. And as challenging as it can be, it's going to bring you more stability and it's going to open up the gateways to more happiness. Um, very interesting reading for you this week. And a lot of things happening as well. All right, let's get your moon cards. Let's find out what the angels would like to share with you during this full moon on the 17th. In the sign Aries, what would you, what is your advice for the beautiful sign? <laughs> what it, for this beautiful sign? All right, they want you, it's the full moon forgiveness. See, we talked about a forgiveness, whether it's you forgiving someone, forgiving a situation, forgiving yourself. Whatever the case may be, you need to really release that around the full moon because it's going to open up the doors for those new opportunities that are flying in very quickly for you. And then the law of attraction, okay? This is you manifesting all the things that you want. So they want you to forgive certain things in your life and let that past go because it's time to open up the laws of attraction, it's time to open up your ability to create new opportunities and those are opportunities that are be being presented to you. So make sure you're setting your intentions in a very positive way uh, around the 17th and, and watch the laws of attraction start to um, fly in for you as well. All right, so now let's get your angel message. Let's find out what the angels would like to share with you. Spirit angels guides. For the beautiful sign Sagittarius, what would you like to share with this beautiful sign? Manifest, wow. <laughs> Law of attraction and manifest, definitely, definitely keep the 17th in mind and journalize, write out, make sure your thoughts are pure, make sure your thoughts and your intentions are for your highest good and manifest the things that you want because it is possible for you. It says, I have everything I need. The angels remind you that by uh, fill, uh, filling your subconscious with thoughts and images of what you really want and by speaking positively about these things, you will bring them into your real life and manifest your yes. Wow, very powerful card for you. So this is going to be an extremely powerful week as well. All right, so we need uh, the numbers that you really, really need to pay attention to is number three and number four. The synchronicities of threes and fours has been a commonality here in your reading. All right, so let's get your angel number and the message that the angels are sending to you with that number. Spirit angels guides for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. Self-love, absolutely, especially coming off of victim mentality, that five of swords, you know, you need to self-love. Six, seven, six. So prior to prioritize your well-being and cultivate a deep sense of love and compassion for yourself. It's very important for you to do that. And especially right now, when you can really prioritize your well-being, you are going to be in a better position to manifest the things that you want as well. You know, that forgiveness could be forgiving yourself for being so hard on yourself. So really open up to that as well. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me today. I hope that you found parts of this resonate. And of course, if you do, please leave comments. I appreciate all your love and support. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.